We have before us the balanced budget amendment about which many of us have expressed serious reservations, the effects of which are in both the short and the long term cannot be predicted with any degree of certainty. We'll hear a good deal of hyperbole uh, uh, on this amendment, promises by those that this is going to cure all and promises by those if it passes that we're going to go to hell in the handbasket and rapidly and all our liberties will be taken from us. Uh, I hope we kind of keep our eye on the ball here and at least have an open mind um, uh, to the prospect that we can make this amendment better and still have an amendment. I'm sure someone has looked out over the next 15 years and concluded if we stay on the track, even the one predicted by the President of the United States, that uh, we will be uh, providing for an increasingly larger share of every tax dollar just to go to reduce interest on the debt. And to me, that's the driving force behind this amendment. When I introduced the budget freeze years ago, the liberals of my party said, it's an awful thing you're doing, Joe. You are all the programs we care about. You're freezing them. Money for the blind, the disabled, education, and so on. And my argument then is one I make now, which is the strongest, most compelling reason to be for this, but this amendment or an amendment. And that is that if we don't do that, all the things I care most about are going to be gone. I mean, whatever happened to that old conservative discipline about paying for what you spend? I'm up for re-election this year, and I'm going to remind everybody what I did at home, which is going to cost me politically. I, when I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare and Medicaid. I meant veterans benefits. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. And I not only tried it once, I tried it twice, I tried it a third time, and I tried it a fourth time. Somebody has to tell me in here how we're going to do this hard work without dealing with any of those sacred cows.